Alison Burns also has four boys. At 41, she's running out of time to conceive a girl. She's about to have the operation where her eggs are removed, then fertilized with her husband's sperm. This is her third and final attempt at PGD. I can see the struggles that she's going in, and that's hard for me as well. The only way that I can help that is to create a female embryo together with Allie and, and have a daughter. Alison's hoping they'll collect at least a dozen eggs to be fertilized in the laboratory. <laughs> The more eggs collected, the greater the chance of one of these becoming a healthy female embryo, something they failed to achieve with their previous two attempts. We're going to do this under sedation. It's going to make you sleepy. It's like twilight sleep. It's possible at various points you might be aware of your surroundings, you might be aware of us talking, but I promise you is you won't care. You're, you're going to feel a little mellow and a, and a little groovy with the medicine. How are you doing, Allison? I'm OK. It feels a bit like deja vu at the moment, but hopefully it'll be a different outcome. You try not to get yourself so excited about success, but at the same time, of course, you're hoping for that. Otherwise, you wouldn't go through all of the ridiculousness of this process. Stacy will take the follicular fluid to the embryology lab, and they'll start looking for the eggs right away. All right, great. The most important determinant of success is, unfortunately, Allison's age. In her age group, the chance of success will be around 10 to 20 percent, meaning 10 to 20 percent of women in Allison's age group will go home with a baby at the end of this procedure. Biologically, it's hard for 40-year-old women to become pregnant. One, two, three, four, You got, you ready? Eight eggs. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. You got a great job, great job, great job. Good, good, good. Yep. It's not great for PGD because you have to assume that you're going to lose half. So if half are male and half are female, you're really only starting with four. That'll be fine. We'll be fine. Alison may be disappointed, but it's a good result for a woman of her age. Alison's eight eggs will now be injected with her husband's sperm. This determines the sex of the embryo. It's a procedure that only takes a few hours. In the morning, they'll find out if any have fertilized. Justine, have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. now faces a long week of waiting before she can find out if any of the six embryos she and Richard have created are female. The PGD test takes place once her embryos have grown to around the eighth cell stage. One cell from each of her embryos is removed and then tested to find out the sex and to make sure they are healthy. So we're right on target, which is exactly where we were last time. And all of them went to PGD last time. So we'll see what we get this time. Richard and Allison have been waiting for a week for the results of their PGD test. They are about to find out if they have a female embryo to implant and hopefully make her pregnant. I think I've been involved in this process long enough to know that there are going to be ups and downs. Unfortunately, that's just part of this um, journey. And so you almost expect the negative. 
So when things are good, you think, okay, things are good, but that means something bad is going to come next. The negativity is just, it's starting to wear on the family. And um, I, I had to say something to her last night because it was just, it's, it's too much. You know, when you're around somebody that's negative all the time, it, it just affects so many different things on a day-to-day -day basis that uh, it became a bit of a discussion last night. Hey, ready? Yep. It's all over me. Let's go get pregnant. I'm not positive at all. I have never had a healthy female embryo to transfer. I think there's a big part of me that just um, thinks it's not a possibility for us for whatever reason. Regardless of today's outcome, this is the family's third and final attempt at PGD. The process has taken its toll on their finances and their relationship. I'll see you in a couple minutes, okay? okay. I guess when you become that obsessed or focused on, on an end result or a goal, I guess it's very easy to let these negative feelings take over instead of seeing the positive side of it. Six of Allison's embryos will now be tested. If a healthy female embryo is found, it will be immediately implanted. I don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> you wanted a girl, right? Yeah. There is something for transfer. Yes. Oh, thank God. There's one embryo that's available for transfer. So you do make them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay. And discard the rest, you said? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. We'll be ready in a few minutes. Okay. Oh. Bottoms up, bottoms down. Very good. You ready? Ready. Although Allison has four children naturally, there's no guarantee that once the female embryo is inserted, it will take. In fact, as she's over 40, the odds are still against her. Rest here for 15 minutes, okay. thinking happy thoughts. Then you can get up, get dressed, finally go to the bathroom and head home. Okay. Your pregnancy test will be in nine days. We'll write the date down for you. Until then and after then, we'll hope for the best. Thank you. Great. Great. The embryo is right where she belongs. Pregnant until proven otherwise. That's exactly it. <laughs> was a very high anxiety moment. There's a lot riding on it. No one knows the results. Anything can happen. We'll see. Uh, we want this to work. We hope that this works. We're fortunate to have a female, normal embryo to transfer, and um, she's got a shot. That's what we're all aiming for. It's not. Uh -oh. 